Abortion is the focus for many Republicans today as GOP lawmakers in Congress take aim at Defense Department abortion policies. Meanwhile, Republican presidential hopefuls celebrate the passage of a tough new abortion law in Iowa. Willie James Inman has more details from Washington. Republicans successfully added an amendment banning the Pentagon from covering travel expenses for service members seeking abortions to a bill funding the military. It doesn't matter what position you stand when it comes to abortion, when the one defining part that most all Americans believed you can support it or you can oppose it, but don't use tax dollars on it. Then Friday, the GOP-controlled House passed the Defense Authorization Act, mostly along party lines. The bill typically wins large bipartisan support. The far right hijacked this, hijacked our national security, and this makes our country less secure, less safe, and it's an insult to all of our women in uniform, so I'm a no. On the other side of Capitol Hill, Senator Tommy Tuberville has single-handedly blocked the Senate confirmation of more than 250 senior military officers because of Pentagon abortion policies. President Biden slammed Tuberville Thursday while traveling in Europe. I'd be willing to talk to him if I thought there was any possibility of changing this ridiculous position he has. He's jeopardizing U.S. security. Abortion is also a key focus today for the candidates hoping to win the GOP's presidential nomination. A majority of the candidates are attending an evangelical forum in Iowa today. Isn't it good to be in a nation where you are free to praise the Lord? Yeah. Hallelujah! Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds is using the event to sign a new bill into law, banning abortions after six weeks in most cases. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Capitol Hill.